So uh, this is the Anglo-Saxon longhouse that was built early on and uh, like I say, it's, you know, it's a square like that with a triangle on top and you hoist one up and then you put a second one up and then you put a cross beam and link them up you can just keep putting them down. And then we filled the walls in with wattle and daub which is basically just, you know, mud, mud and, and a bit grass. of clay and, um, and straw. So it's like a, you know, mud straw bale house. It's, you know, how people in ancient times used to make walls out of this and just paint it white with some loam or whatever it's called. We've got the bottles put in there. <laughs> ah, some <laughs> nose canisters. <laughs> Whoa! So, uh, yeah, you know, <coughs> solar panel outside which powers the, um, you know, people can charge up phones or batteries or laptops mm -hmm. or whatever it is. Yeah, but better turn off now, we've got people yeah. coming. Right, but show you inside quick, yeah? This one. <laughs> yes, please. So I'm just going to show Robin time here, so show the quick video. Um, so, yeah, this is inside the longhouse. Quite an amazing space, really. This is the extra extension. I mean, when they came to evict it, I think it was probably about this big or that big. I can't remember. I think it was up. Yeah, it was up here. When they tried to evict it, we stood up on this crossbar and we said, "You can't evict us. You need a climbing team." And they went away. That was the third eviction. Oh, what? Just up there? Yes, yeah, stood on there. And said, "You need a climbing team." That's it. There's only six of them, and the place was covered in mud, and uh, they, they just wanted to leave and go home. You know. But, uh, yeah, so it's a nice place. There's a, down here, look at this fireplace. Um, yeah, a nice fireplace. Oh, that's a tasty fireplace. Built that, I think. So, you know, it just shows what people can create in three years of having their own space and making things happen, you know, in community. There's millions, billions of acres of disused land in this country. You know, let's start talking about all the people who are getting the welfare payments of the EC for all the land they got sat around doing nothing with. You know, all that £93 billion a year in corporate welfare that's given out to all these corporations. And, you know, all these millions of pounds given to the EC for people to have land to do nothing with. Why don't we use some of this disused land? And, you know, what the Diggers campaign originally set up was to get disused land to grow food and create low impact off grid homes and that's what's happened here. A lot of food's got grown here over the time. It's lapsed a little bit recently because when you get threatened with eviction people put a bit less effort in, particularly on the digging and growing and things like that. But you know, there's enough land out there with nothing happening that we could be growing food. We don't need to be shipping food in from New Zealand and South Africa and wherever we could be actually growing our food locally, growing on rooftops, growing it in little window boxes, whatever it is. You know, let's start using the land in a more sustainable way and sharing it out, you know. The earth is a commonwealth for all and you know we need to be redistributing the land sharing it out with people you know and maybe then we can live in a sustainable way enough for everybody's space to live and space to grow you know we need to we need system change you know not regime change we need a complete system change so that we all share resources you know the real meaning of jubilee i think from the bible this african woman told us was uh, that every 50 years there's a redistribution of land and wealth and also somebody's telling me this morning around a fire pit there's actually a cancellation of debt so every 50 years or less we should be having sharing out land wealth, resources and cancelling debt and uh, be a lot happier world and you know a lot more resources shared out and reasonable and we can live sustainably so let's get on with it, make cool. it our future. I see these bottles are put in the walls for a reason now, this is to let light in, I've seen they do <coughs> this in Brazil. And also to hold mobile phones while they're uh, charging if they're thin enough. You know. So 12 volt system there, very basic. I don't mind a long shot of the fire, just show it end up. Uh, and this is the communal fire pit, everyone hangs out. Okay. Yes, please. 